Okay, so in this video, I wanna walk through how to do what we refer to as a Ledger POS transaction or a point of sale transaction through a customer's Ledger card. So before you get started with this one, it's helpful to have a card reader plugged into your computer. So the card reader is typically provided when you start the Tuition Express service with ProCare software. So once you have that plugged into a USB port on your computer, then just follow along for this quick and easy payment type. So the first thing to do is to go to the customer's account within your ProCare software. Now, once on the account for that customer, just access their ledger card. So once you're on the ledger card, there's going to be a button called TEPOS, and that stands for point of sale. So once on the payment screen, there's actually two different ways to enter in information for this transaction. One way would simply be to type in the information. Now, this would most commonly be used if you're on the phone with a customer. Perhaps they called in and uh, can't make it to the center to make a payment, so they would like to make that with you over the phone. This would also be the way to enter in the information if you don't happen to have a card reader plugged into your machine. So you would just proceed to fill out each and every box on this screen. Now, if you do have a card reader plugged in, then the easiest way to go about this transaction is to access the payment screen and then just simply click on the swipe card button. Now, once you click on that button, it's going to connect your computer to the card reader that you have plugged in and then you just proceed to swipe the customer's card. And you can see once you swipe it, it actually puts the information right onto the screen for you. Now from here, you'll notice the amount field automatically fills in with the actual balance of the parent's ledger right now. The nice thing about this is that there's actually no minimum and no maximum to the payment that you can do on this actual payment screen. So you could just keep their current balance in there to uh, pay off their current balance, or you can change this to anything else you'd like. Again, no minimum and no maximum to the amount. So once you have the amount that you would actually like to process through, the final step is to click the process button on this screen. Now, once the payment actually posts to the ledger card, the balance will automatically be updated, and then you'll have the opportunity to print a receipt for this customer. And from there, the ledger card will be closed and the balance will be updated on the parent's or customer's account. And that concludes the POS ledger card transaction type.